She's the first expert witness called to testify by the defense at the Toronto Van Attack trial. And today, Dr. Rebecca Chohan was grilled during the cross examination by the Crown as they highlighted multiple inconsistencies in the stories Alec Manassian told different doctors and the police. A warning some may find the details of this story disturbing. Hours after Alec Manassian drove a rental van down a Young Street sidewalk terrorizing Toronto, he was interrogated by a Toronto police detective. Manassian claimed he was motivated by an online movement known as incel, men who are involuntarily celibate and promote violence against sexually active men and women. He recited a story from an alleged Halloween party in 2013. And I uh, walked in and attempted to uh, socialize with some uh, girls. Uh, however, they all uh, laughed at me and uh, held the arms of the uh, big guys instead. I was angry th that they would um, give their love and affection to obnoxious brutes. I considered myself a supreme gentleman. Manassian also told the Toronto Police detective that he was motivated by another known killer, Elliot Roger, and that the two had spoken. In 2016, Roger murdered six people and injured 14 others in California before killing himself. Ahead of the killing, Roger wrote a manifesto about his hate for women and sexually active men. I felt it was time to take action and not just sit on the sidelines and to just uh, fester in my own sadness. Dr. Rebecca Chohan testified that Manassian told her he read Roger's manifesto every day from January to April of 2018, right up to the time of the van attack. However, the Crown today showed a portion of a report written by the defense's lead forensic psychologist. It states Manassian told him the whole Halloween story was a lie and that he never spoke with Roger, going on to say that the police statement he gave about being part of an incel rebellion was also made up. Questioning Dr. Chohan, Crown attorney John Rinaldi today asked, we really don't know when he's telling the truth. That's a problem. Is it not? Dr. Chohan responded saying, we'd have to ask more questions. He seemed very fixated around notoriety. So was that the motivation? Was it because someone else's life was more interesting? I couldn't say. Dr. Chohan has testified that Manassian spent years fantasizing about serial killers, saying it was a ritualistic thing he had a habit of doing going back to high school. Upon hearing that, the Crown suggested to the court that instead of being radicalized by Roger, Manassian had been thinking about committing a mass murder for the better part of a decade. The inconsistency in Manassian's testimony may raise questions about the defense's argument that he shouldn't be held criminally responsible because he doesn't understand the consequences of his actions as a result of his autism diagnosis. The defense's next expert witness will be called Monday morning. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.